everyone, my name is Muhammad Jamali. I am a wellness coach and certified by the American Society of Nutrition to help people achieve the health and fitness goal through nutrition and fitness programs. Today, overweight and obesity is a major concern and I am thankful to Burani Sports for this opportunity to share with you uh, insights about weight management, sustainable weight management and the reasons why we become overweight. I hope that the points shared over here will help you to change your lifestyle, to improve your health and to be on the road to health and fitness. Thank you. One of the most misunderstood concepts is that obesity runs in the family. We feel that because our parents are overweight or because it is in the genes, we are also overweight. Frankly, that is not the case. Obesity is, doesn't run in the family. Obesity is because nobody runs in the family. So obesity by and large is or becoming overweight is a result of calorie mismanagement. Because whatever we eat is basically converted by our body into energy. That is the form in which our body uses food to produce uh, and do the functions that it requires to keep you alive, to keep you healthy. So the basic unit of measurement is calorie. So whatever you consume, whatever food you consume, whatever you are going to eat is going to be converted by your body into energy and it is going to be stored for, few, for, for further use. Now, if you are consuming more calories than what your body requires, that extra amount of calories is going to be stored by your body in the form of fat. And by and large, we eat a, a lot of excess calories than what our body requires. Average, uh, what is calculated is around 2500 calories per day. That is the average on the basis of which uh, any you know, uh, food is packaged. If you, if you take any food, there is a nutrition label reading, nutrition label which is given behind. And uh, we are going to talk about that also in one of the topics where we are going to learn how to read a nutrition label. So, uh, by and large, uh, if you are consuming more calories than what you are able to burn in the day, then you are going to put on weight. For example, how much do you think uh, 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 an evening snack of one or two samosas is going to cost you in the terms of calories? You will be surprised to know, one samosa is roughly around 300 calories, 250 to 300 calories. So. If you are just thinking it's just one harmless samosa, think again. Now I'm going to give you a few statistics which is going to uh, show you in the, in, the, in, the, in the terms of running how many kilometers you need to run to burn off these calories that you have. For example, if you're having one can of Coca-Cola, you need to run at least two kilometers to burn off the energy that you are consuming, extra energy that you are consuming, uh, you, you are taking into your body by having this one can of Coca-Cola. If you have one burger, single single uh, uh, layer cheese burger, you need to run around four kilometers to burn off those extra calories. If you're having one additional fries, French fries, which you normally have along with the burger, it's you have to run around six kilometers to burn off those calories. So one trip to McDonald's with one burger, one medium Coke, and one extra fries is going to cost you around 10 kilometers of running to burn off those calories. Now, do you think that you are doing, we are doing this type of physical activity to uh, validate eating so much of calories? Again, the second part of this is that it's not only about calories. One would say that I will cut down on my calories. But the more you cut down on your calories, the more chances are that less nutrition is going to go in. And ultimately, our body works on nutrition. The proteins, the carbs, the vitamins and minerals that are required by our body to do its day-to-day -day functions. Deficiencies of these vitamins and minerals and protein in our body leads to a lot of lifestyle diseases and leads to dysfunctions in our body, which we know as diseases. So diabetes is not a disease. Diabetes is just a dysfunction of your body to of your body not being able to produce, produce enough insulin to 
cater to the extra amount of calories coming in which is being converted to sugar to uh, uh, glucose and being stored by your body so it is a cycle we need to understand that we need to do calorie management in if we need to have a sustainable weight management in the long run now there are the macros and the micros that you need to take care of macros and micros macros consider of consider of uh, consist of protein fats and carbs these are the macros these are the major sources of energy that your body requires and the micros are the vitamins and minerals that your body requires to help the macros work which means that if you are concentrating only on the macros you are concentrating on the carbs the proteins and the and and, and the and the fats and you are not supporting it with the vitamins and minerals it's not going to balance so everything has to be in balance so that your body performs the functions that it requires to do your heart your liver your kidney all these require energy and all these require the vitamins and minerals uh, to function now calories is the amount of energy in an item of a f- in in a food the amount of energy in a food okay so whatever we drink or we eat is measured in calorie the only item which is calorie free is water and that's why it is such a beautiful way uh, to help you to lose weight by drinking more water and every macro or micro has its own calories now why i'm talking about this because is because macros and micros whatever we eat is also related to calories but how much we are eating is uh, is again how many calories we are going to intake so for example if you eat 1 gram of protein it's it consists of 4 calories if you're going to have 1 gram of carbs it consists of 4 calories but if you have 1 gram of fat it consists of 9 calories so fat is more calorie dense and that's why sometimes we uh, ignore this fat this fact and we put on weight for example if you're having 1 tablespoon of mayonnaise you go to your favorite subway or mcdonald's and you ask them to put extra mayonnaise or extra toppings so 1 tablespoon of mayonnaise is 100 calories 1 tablespoon of olive oil is 100 calories 1 tablespoon of butter is 100 calories so this is how we accumulate calories or here i don't mean to say that fats is not required we do need fats but we need healthy fats and in comparison we are not doing that much of physical activity to burn off those extra calories which we are consuming there is always healthy and unhealthy ca- calories but here we are based the basic question is how many calories are we taking in and how many calories are we burning the difference if it's plus or minus if it is plus you are going to put on weight if it is minus you are going to lose weight it is as simple as that in detail we are going to talk about different types of calories what are carbs what are proteins and how it can affect your health how it can help you to uh, sustain your your weight this is a different topic but today what you need to understand is that you need to balance your calories in order to maintain your weight many people feel that now that i have lost weight i can eat whatever i want that is not the case maintaining your weight is a long is a long term process in the long run it is a continuous process it's not a dot it is a line it's a continuous line so you need to do something on an everyday basis that will help your body to function it will give it will which will nourish your body and make sure that the weight that you have lost is being maintained okay so for that you need to balance your calories this is very very important to understand and that is why you need to make dietary changes in your lifestyle in your eating habits so that uh, you can you can maintain a healthy weight a healthy weight we don't want to lose weight without losing our energy i'm sure any none of you would love to lose weight and have no energy to do your daily work or you don't have a glow on your skin or you have digestion problems or you can't sleep properly or you are eating so less that you are feeling weak 
or you're feeling dizzy. So we need, we, we want to lose weight in a healthy way where we have enough energy, in fact, more energy to do our day-to-day -day work. We feel fresh, we feel fresh when we get up in the morning. So this is uh, why, uh, we, you know, uh, sometimes people do everything and still don't lose weight is because uh, they're not understanding the science behind uh, behind this is calorie management. So uh, that's for today's topic about weight management, about calories and how you can balance your calories. Uh, more detailed uh, topics will follow, inshallah.